Colt 45, single shot. You had to cock it every time you shot. It was called a peacemaker. But I haven't seen much peace that it brought. No. The guys today have that full automatic. Pull the trigger and spray. History's a funny thing. They got us believing that Columbus discovered America and the Indians were already here. That's like me telling you, and you're sitting in your car, that I discovered your car. Then they want to call them the evil red savages because they didn't give up the car soon enough. There's one thing about time. No matter how much or how little passes, it changes things. People forget their past, and they forget the truth. But pictures don't lie. Forgotten gunslingers like Nat Love, Heisen Dart, Cherokee Bill, and troops too, like the 9th and the 10th. You see, people forget that almost one out of every three cowboys was black. Because when the slaves were freed, a lot of them headed out west, built their own towns. Shit, <laughs> they didn't have much choice. In fact, over half of the original settlers of Los Angeles were black. But for some reason, we never hear their stories. Stories like Jesse Lee and his posse. That was a gambler, Father Time. This here was Crazy Little Jay. Uh, the big man was a bobo. He was Jesse's enforcer. And then there was Wheezy and Angel. And then, of course, there was the leader, Jesse Lee. Yeah, man. <laughs> These cats was the original posse. I'm going to tell you, it all started in the Spanish-American War on the front line. It's going to get, my boys. It's going to get worse. Lord knows I can't take too much more. We are without ammunition. Jesse! Less. I, I set my clock to you. Come in. You know, Jesse, they say you can tell a lot about a man by his profile. Mm, a, a certain strength of character, <coughs> or lack thereof. Now, yours, well, it's scarred, isn't it? It's, <laughs> it's very, very scarred. No doubt you're going to call for a retreat. Off a word again. Terrible. Don't you think a good soldier would rather die than run? I know I would. Yet now, you come to me, the bullet's flying, and you want to know where and how to run. And the real question, Jesse, is if, if I'm going to let the 10th Cavalry retreat, or if I'm going to let them stay right here. I need to pull up, sir. Uh-huh. Wheezy. Yes, Colonel Grimm, sir. Wheezy, toddle over and get me that man. What man, that, sir? The one from the stockade. You mean Bring me the... Yes, up? them. Wait, wait, wait. Right. Jesse, you were going to volunteer to stay behind. <laughs> I'm gonna have to raise you, Dernan. <laughs> raise me? Well, I reckon you got some damn good cards there. Or you're bluffing. <laughs> oh, I got the cards. I got the cards. <laughs> well, what the hell? I'll call you anyway. I got me a full house. Now, what do you got? Oh, you damn snaggle tooth. Damn, Shane, we ain't playing for some money. Robert Dunn, sir? Sir, come on now, Wizzy. Your Yankee nose is brown enough with the Colonel's shit. What do you want? Oh, so if that's the way you be feeling, then it's my pleasure to tell you that the Colonel wants you and Walker to come with me. Now, how you like them apples, huh? Oh. So come on, let's see them feet. Come on, put them on up there. All right, now. It's let's okay. See. If the Colonel says we should get going, we'll just be hopping right along. 
Thank you, Wheezy. Welcome, sir. Rewards and retributions. Rewards <laughs> and retributions. And uh, Mr. Walker. <laughs> so judging by your recent desertion, would you say you no longer desire to serve in this man's army? <laughs> sir. <laughs> on, Walker, you are discharged. Go on. Go on, you. Get up. Go. See you. Godspeed. Run. Thank you. Would you turn profile, please? Turn profile, please, and hold it right there. Thank you. Shoot him. Oh, come on, Jesse. Man's a coward says killings against God. <laughs> I mean, you do realize I'm giving you a chance to shoot a white man. Do it. Do it or the tent stays right here.